Hi guys, hello, welcome back. So in today's video, I will be sharing a full face of Wet n Wild products. So the other day I was cleaning and organizing my closet and I just realized I have a lot of Wet n Wild products and I also have a lot of their tools. Like for example, I have this powder brush, which is so good. And I also have the foundation brush, which I also like. So I thought I will do a full face of Wet n Wild. Now I do not have like all of their products I know some categories of products are still missing from this video however um, I feel like I do not want to buy them just for the sake of this video so yeah I created this look which was so simple these days I have been loving the minimal eyeshadow look like just taking one eyeshadow and blending it all over and it just looks really pretty okay so, so apart from showing you how I created this look I also shared my thoughts and opinions on the products that I have so if you want to know that then please keep on watching Okay, so I am a bit closer now and let us begin okay so I have already moisturized my face and prepped it up for makeup and uh, now I will go in with this inside primer now I know that this is a full face of wet and wild but I did not have all the products from wet and wild so that is why it's a full ish face of wet and wild products but i can guarantee you that this inside primer is very similar to the wet and wild one i mean in terms of texture and everything like that because i have a friend who did have the wet and wild um, primer and i've used it and it was very similar and it gave you know very similar effects too however this inside one is like cheaper than the wet and wild so yeah i don't know that's up to you which one you want to buy i don't like wet and wild is cruelty free however as far as i know inside is not and if you are someone who looks only for cruelty free makeup then yeah go for the wet and wild one now let us move on to foundation so i have the wet and wild foundation this is the uh, photo focus foundation now this one is the matte version i know that they came out with the dewy version of it but i am i don't think that that's available in india they did come out with it and i have seen like us youtubers try it out and they love it and i personally have dry skin so i wish they had that here but if you are looking for a good everyday wear foundation then this is the one to go I also got this on discount uh, from Flipkart and my color is golden beige so I just took some on the back of my hand and I will also be using wet and wild tools I mean I have some so I'll use them uh, this is the wet and wild foundation brush this is the this is their I don't know they had this pro range and this is from that particular range now I will just blend the foundation I will take some more and apply it on my neck and on my cheeks and a little bit on my chin so as I told you it's not that great for camera because it I don't know you can still see my uh, spots but that's okay I mean I don't mind it as much because it's very lightweight on the skin so usually while i'm filming i wear the super stay foundation but to be honest i would not wear it every day because it does feel a bit heavy on the skin compared to this because it's it's like super super full coverage so yeah run with foundation now time for concealer and i have the concealer as well this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer and the color that i have is light medium beige and um, so i told this in one of my videos i can't remember which one but i have tried this concealer in the past and this is my second tube but i don't know why i remember 
loving the first one so much and yeah that is exactly why i bought the second tube because i loved it so much even though i had a lot of concealers but i was like no nothing beats this one and it's like the age rewind thing i love the age rewind concealer but this one is cheaper so i thought maybe i'll get this one instead but i don't know i feel the formula is a bit different and i'm not sure why they i don't know if i got a bad one or if they changed the formula but i feel that the formula is a bit different on this one also the wet n wild foundation has a very weird smell okay when i first applied it i was like what the hell why does it smell so bad it seriously smells like paint like wall paint but um, i don't know i got used to the smell and now it does not bother me it does not linger around on your face you will just feel it once you open the bottle and you start applying it and then the smell fades away so it's not that big of an issue oh my god while i'm blending my concealer i just remember that i thought i'll do my eye makeup first and ah, now i forgot <laughs> I guess it's too late now. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I think we can finally move on to our eyes. So I don't know what I want to do, but um, I have these single eye shadows from them. And uh, these are like so damn affordable. I got this for 67 rupees only. And uh, this particularly, I love this shade a lot. This is Moonchild. I don't know why it's written Moonchild on the packaging, but when I look at it on Nykaa, the name is different. So I don't know what the thing is, if they changed the name or I, I really don't know what happened here. I bought this particular one from Mintra and uh, it came shattered when it came in, but I fixed it up with alcohol. So yeah, I think I will put this eyeshadow all over my crease and just blend it in with a brown shade from this palette that I have here. This is the Nude Awakening eyeshadow palette. And I have particularly done like so many looks with this eyeshadow palette while I was doing my festive series. And if you want to see those looks, I will link the playlist here or at the end of the video so that you can check those looks out if you are interested in you know makeup tutorials and all those sorts of things so anyway also i just want you guys to save your money so i have these eyeshadows from wet and wild and this is the glitter version of it and i don't know exactly like what they are called but uh, yeah these are the glitter eyeshadows and they are horrible like i seriously cannot tell you how much i regret buying these so specifically for this one now if you will look at it you'll feel like wow that's so shiny how are you saying that that's bad okay so it's the shine is only in on the upper layer and once i take it off there's there's nothing down there okay so it just feels like vaseline so i i don't understand the point of this and it it does not apply quite well it looks so weird like it's it's i don't know what the purpose of this eyeshadow is to be honest because everything sticks just on my finger and it it won't like come off on my hand as well so i don't know why they made this it's just so bad it's not worth even a single penny so just don't buy these and the same one goes for the gold the gold is still better because it has some pigment but it's very sticky like i i don't like the I don't like the consistency of it or the formula of it it's it feels so so sticky and i don't want something that's sticky on my lid to be honest so this one you can still work with but this one like what is it okay so now let me move on and put this eyeshadow all over my lid and yeah I'm so excited. I love this color in general. Now you do get some fallout from these eyeshadows, but it's nothing like major that you cannot work with. You can easily dust it off. So see, that is why I wanted to do my eye makeup first. But anyway, 
I'll clean up the mess later on. <laughs> Okay, trust the process. I know it's going everywhere, but we will clean it up later on. Uh, now I'll take a brush and I will blend off the edges. To be honest, I feel like I can leave it here and call it a day, but I want to go in again uh, with this eyeshadow and just intensify it a little. Now I am taking this Nude Awakening palette, the 10 pan palette, and I will go in with this shade and put it in my uh, crease. Now from the same palette, I will take this shade, this transition shade, the darker transition shade and I will put that um, on my lower lash line. Now taking the same concealer on this concealer brush, I will really take a very tiny amount of concealer on this and I will just clean up the edges. Okay, now I will go in with this Pet n Wild highlighter. This is their Ombre highlighter. I have also used quite a lot of it and I have a dip, a very big dip right here. But I don't use it as much anymore because firstly, it does not show up on camera and uh, you have to build this up a lot it's not very pigmented and it's good for beginners because it's very forgiving however i don't enjoy using it as much because i feel you seriously have to pick up a lot lot of product so anyway i would recommend the sugar highlighter and you can see that it's so chalky powdery <laughs> and uh, i can i mean i can see the particles fly away See that hardly did anything and I went in with a very heavy hand. Now let me show you once again what I mean. I literally I am grabbing a lot of product on this and dusting the excess off and you can hardly still see any change. I can see some change in person but on camera I see nothing. Now I so. will go in with the favorite part and that is highlighting my face so I will You can easily get a subtle glow from this and you can also get a really blinding highlight and that's what I love about this highlight. So I do not have a brow product from Wet n Wild because they are always out of stock and they don't have a color that I like so the colors that, that they have is black and brown and I don't know some other color which is very light for me. I, so I personally do not like using jet black colors for my brows and I usually go for either dark brown or gray brown or gray so that it does not look I don't know very made up <laughs> so yeah I will be doing my brows off camera and I'll be right back so I also did my mascara off camera because I don't have a wet and wild mascara however I have tried one of those and I will put a picture on the screen it was the green one and it did absolutely nothing for my lashes and I thought it was a complete waste of money so uh, yeah I just got rid of it because I knew that I would never use it so um, yeah now I will be going in with a liquid cat suit from wet and wild uh, it's in the shade um, give me mocha and this one I feel that the lipsticks are I mean the liquid lipsticks are a bit too patchy for my liking and um, firstly they are like matte liquid lipsticks and you have to build a lot of it up and um, at the end it just looks a bit crusty uh, so it was such a bummer when i did not like the formula on this one because i really like this shade and i used to get a lot of compliments whenever i wore this shade so 
but anyway if the formula is not up to the mark then of course i don't feel it's worth purchasing okay, so this is the complete look and i like how it turned out and i personally feel wet and wild products are great value for your money okay so that was it for today's video i hope you found it helpful or enjoyed watching if you did then please give this video a thumbs up also consider subscribing before you leave and while you're down there leave me a comment down below which is your favorite wet and wild product or if not wet and wild then any other drugstore brand that you really like just let me know in the comments down below and i will see you in my next one bye